What's up everyone? Welcome to episode 17 of our Pokemon Fire Red. Let's play in the last episode. We beat the last gym leader Giovanni and got our Earth Badge and TM26 for Earthquake from him. And then we went over to Route 23 and beat our arrival for I think the was sixth, seventh time in a row. And then he told us that we needed to practice more because apparently, even though he's never beat us in a battle, he still thinks that he's a better trainer than us. I don't know. Can you, uh, I, I think that's the definition of delusional right there. But anyway, today we're going to be heading into the, uh, Victory Road. And unfortunately, um, I have to sit out, uh, Molly because we need strength in here. And while I could just delete Extreme Speed for strength, I don't want to get rid of Extreme Speed because that could come in very handy and the Elite Four, so yeah, she's probably going to be sitting this one out, but uh, I would have loved to sit out Blue Shell, but we kind of need Blue Shell in this place, because there's going to be a ton of rock type and stuff. By the way, what Pokemon information will be up on the screen for you guys right about now, so you can know what you can catch here. And now, this is the best point in the game, where we get to do strength puzzles. Wonderful. Now... How this place works is you're pushing boulders onto uh, switches, but those look like a stack of plates to me. Now, I need to go ahead and spray repel so I don't get bombarded with wild Pokemon. Uh, however, I think that uh, the wild Pokemon in here are going to be higher level than level 45, so hopefully Loxus will be high enough level to ward off the wild Pokemon, but yeah. Switches that look like plates, so we push the boulders onto the plates, shattering the plates, and then that somehow causes the big rocks in the way to disappear. I don't know how that works, but, you know, Pokemon logic, whatever. So, yeah, there's going to be a ton of pretty difficult trainers in here for you to fight, so make sure you're stocked up on healing items and everything before you head in here. Because uh, it's not that, you know, the trainers are difficult in any way, it's just the amount of Pokemon you're going to have to be facing. And whenever, uh, you know, you like to hold back and not use all your power like Loxus here, you'll be letting things live with a sliver of hit points every time. So, yeah, you're just really, it's it, again, it's not difficult. You're just going to be running out of PP quite a lot in here. So just make sure you've got yourself some ethers and elixirs and stuff. And you, sh you should be perfectly fine. So we'll go ahead and heal up Loxus here because Loxus took a beating. And then over here, something that really makes me upset about this place is that you have to make the decision. Uh, do you want the TM or do you want the rare candy? Uh, this is TM2 for Dragon Claw. Now, I don't think anything on the team can even learn that, but just so you know, that right there is a rare candy. I'm not gonna waste my time leaving this place just to get it, but uh, yeah, if you just want that one rare candy, I honestly think you should probably just go for Dragon Claw. Like, if you have Charizard, that would be a pretty good move to give to your Charizard because it's a, you know, a special-based move and obviously Charizard has much better special attack. Uh, then physical attack, so that'll be pretty good for your Charizard there. So let's go ahead and again, <laughs> just leaving the opponent with a couple of hit points left. Loxus, what is going on with you today? I don't know, but doesn't seem to want to, uh, you know, annihilate today. So I don't know if we're going to be using Loxus much this episode. So he's got all three starters. I don't know how he managed to do that. Maybe he traded with someone and, uh, yeah, he decided to not evolve that Charmeleon, but he decided to evolve his other one. Uh, I, I don't know. This, this guy is just kind of, I don't know. He's a weird trainer. I can see you're better than I. Yeah, because I know how to evolve my Pokemon. All right, now we got to use our Revive. I hope, I really hope I actually have enough items to get through this place because we did, what, two battles? And yeah, it, it's already kind of brutal right now. So let's head ourselves down here. We got to push this boulder onto those plates right there. And then we can uh, go ahead and go to the other place. Oh my goodness. Yeah, these repels aren't even going to work in here. Because Loxus is just too low level for this place. I'm telling you. I mean, I stopped to grind twice in this LP. Just imagine how underleveled I would be if I didn't do that. This here is Victory Road. It's the final test for trainers. But anyway, I want to talk about the Kanto games. Because we're at this, the point of the game where I want to actually comment on this. They really do not give you enough experience to the point where you just don't ever have to stop and grind. That's one of my main complaints about the Kanto games is that if you want to be on par with the levels by the end of the game, 
You literally will have to stop and grind at least like 10 levels just to be on par with the Elite Four and the Champion in this game. And that is just... I, I, don't, I don't like that. I don't like when games make you stop and grind, you know, just... Because it's not really skill-based. It's just that you have to just sit there and you're just fighting the same trainers over and over and over again just to grind experience. And it's so boring and so tedious. And in fact... This game and the Gen 2 games, Gold, Silver, and Crystal, are the only games that i found that even if you sit there and you fight every wild Pokemon you see and you fight every trainer you see, that still isn't going to be enough to, to where you're competently leveled and to where you won't be underleveled by the time you get to Elite Four. I don't know, that, that's just me, honestly, though. So, yeah, that's just one complaint I have about this game. Other than that, I mean, I, I love these games, but, I mean, the experience spread could be a bit better. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and spray another repel so we don't get bombarded with these silly little machops that just want to, you know, hamper my PP. That's pretty much all they're doing is lowering my PP. Come on, I'll whip you. All right, man. I, I didn't want to hear this out of you people anymore. Are you kidding me? Loxus, can you please knock something out of one hit today? Oh man, if that wasn't a gold duck, I probably wouldn't have got that. Man, this is really worrying me right now about Loxus because... This, I, I don't even want to know what's going to happen in the Elite Four. If he's letting stuff live right now, oh boy. Loxus, you need to stop holding back. Maybe I need to go get some calciums or something from the department store. Maybe that'll help Loxus, you know, knock something out in one hit eventually. I heard rumors of a child prodigy. Alright, somehow these guys have walkie-talkies and stuff and they're talking about me. I don't know, that's kind of weird that they're all obsessed with this 10-year-old that comes into the cave. But, uh, can you, are you kidding me right now? 25% chance, and I'm just getting screwed. <laughs> Do all these Pokemon have focus sashes or something? Like, what is going on here? Why are my Pokemon letting them live? We're almost to the Elite Four. This is not the time. You need to be murdering now. Come on, man. Okay. All right, Blue Shell, get out there. At least I'm one-hit KOing stuff now. Okay, Blue Shell, you are so over-leveled compared to everyone else. Oh, my goodness. All right, Gaia, let's uh, dig. Well, I guess I could. Uh, that was honestly my fault for not using dig there, but still, come on, Gaia. Oh, man. And now, okay. Uh, this, this place is so... I, I knew I'd have a little bit of a tough time in here, but not like this. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we got a max revive, which I'm probably going to need. Um, I'm going to try to avoid using any more revives if I can, because revives are actually kind of expensive in this game, so... Uh, I'm going to wait until, you know, I actually need them uh, to use them. So, let's go over here and push this stupid boulder all the way over here. They couldn't have made this any faster for me. I mean, my goodness, this is so tedious. I mean, and again, it's not even hard. It's just like, push this boulder 50 feet to the west and push it onto the plate. And then, boom, the boulder's gone. Okay, so there we go. Get that. Finally, now we can go over here and get the TM50 for overheat. I don't think I'm ever going to really use that on um, on our Arcanine, but um, yeah, that, that could be kind of useful, but it's one of those moves like the Hyper Beam. It's not really like Hyper Beam, but it's, it's you know, you got to be uh, careful when you use it, though. So, yeah, because it's going to lower your special attack by two stages every time you use it. So be careful. Make sure that, you know, it's late in the battle when you use it or you can ensure that you're going to switch out. Otherwise, if you can ensure you can do that, then, uh, yeah, they'd be a pretty decent move to have on your Pokemon. Right here uh, is a guard spec, but in red, blue, and yellow, that's where you can get Moltres. So, yeah, obviously they moved Moltres to Mount Ember in this game, but, yeah, I thought that was a neat little Easter egg. Because I actually never even knew that Moltres was even there in, um, in red, blue, and yellow until I recently played through it. Give me a second, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue on with this trainer gauntlet in here. Traders live to seek stronger opponents. Um, okay. I guess that is kind of true, but, um, oh my goodness. And I got cute charm, too. I'm not even going to switch out. Let me, let me see how unlucky I can get, okay? 0 for 3. All right, man. That, that, like, you know, that's a 50% chance that you'll get through the effect. Thank you for getting the crit, because I got infatuated twice in a row. Oh my goodness. Can my luck get any worse today? Oh, and I'm out of Thunderbolt PP. Isn't that just wonderful? Well, at least these rest. Are you serious? 
these are literally, I know this is supposed to be the hardest part of the game before the Elite Four, but, I mean, it's not even hard. These are just the most annoying trainers I've fought in my entire life. At least that chance is going to give a gargantuan amount of experience. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, I, I think Terra might be able to take out some more trainers, but I think we're actually almost done with this place. Um, okay, I need to definitely spray another repel. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely, and I probably am going to need to go and do a little bit of training before the Elite Four because I'm, I'm, I'm having this much trouble just with the trainers in here. Imagine what the Elite Four is going to do to me. All right, let's see how much that return is going to do. That's not doing as much as I would like, Terra. Look at that Pauly World sitting over there. I've always wondered why in the world does Pauly World have gloves on? Like, what purpose does that even serve? Oh, I think I did not get paralyzed. Uh, so let's go ahead and return. And again, something surviving. Oh, man. Uh, Tentacruel. And I think, did it, isn't Tentacruel one of those Pokemon that, like, got banned from ever being in the anime again after, uh, I don't remember what episode it was, but it was, like, um, it was one where it, like, smashed the building. I think it, um, was that the episode where Team Rocket, like, pulled a gun out? That, I don't think that was the Safari Zone episode. I think it was a different one. But anyway, we got a mirror match going on here. And we're going to bite our turtle. Our snapping turtles are going to be biting each other. And so one of them eventually succumbs. And that was his, fortunately for me. So let's go ahead and revive our Pokemon. And uh, hopefully we can get through the last couple of battles. I know there's a move tutor at the end of this place. I don't remember what move you're going to get. I know it's a... No I think it's actually double-edged. So... But actually... We're, at, we're gonna be getting a uh, guy at double edge at the end of this place. I completely forgot about that because, as you know, we have Rockhead, and and obviously double edge is way better than takedown. So let's see if uh, Terra can sweep this person. Of course not. Okay, whatever. And another hyper potion. Can I get through the paralysis? Thank you. I don't want to use any items in the. This is Victory Road. Why are there Paris in here? Like seriously now. All right, there we go, Caroline. You and your weird Pokemon tactics. All right, let's go over here now. And I believe this is one of the... Okay, we got that person up there. Uh, and yeah, we have a little bit more to explore in this place, but we are over halfway done. Cannot wait to get out of here, because I mean, look at this. I'm getting paralyzed and poisoned left and right. I'm glad I stocked up on those items, else this would be a pretty bad thing, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough hyper potions. Oh my goodness, this is bad. Okay, and I think I am going to need to use that elixir just so I can make sure that I have enough, uh, I have enough Thunderbolt PP on Loxus because, oh, this place is just a, a PP drainer in here. Oh, that sounded, that didn't sound right. Okay, whatever, forget I said anything. Let's go ahead and push this onto the plate there and open up that. Did I really get that? I don't remember getting that item. Oh my goodness, are my repels not working now because I'm learned running into level 38 or 48 Pokemon? All right, uh, I want to skip this guy right for now because I want to go get this item before. And yeah, I think, uh, Terra, you're going to need to... Well, no, I don't want to use Loxus right now. So I guess I'm just going to have to deal with my repels not working. Did I... Oh, I already fought that guy. I completely forgot. Okay, and I fought that guy. And now let's go down here. Now that that's open, that right there is the way we want to go. Uh, and uh, before we do that, we're going to fight this guy to just get a little bit of extra experience under, under our belts. Uh, let's see if Shadow Ball does enough. To Hypno, and of course, again, survived with a couple of hit points left. Could learn Reversal, but uh, that's that's a very situational move. And uh, yeah, I'd rather have Brick Break. Thank you very much. So uh, yeah, the guy's got a... Uh, oh, he's talking about our rival. But he's also got a Hypno. And as you know from the last episode with Lostel, I don't really... I'm not too fond of Hypno. We're trying to become champions together. I don't think that's allowed, but... Uh, yeah, you, you can do that if you want, and uh, oh, Loxus is not the best Pokemon to be using against a bunch of ground types, so. I thought I thought this battle was kind of cute because, you know, they're they're a couple or whatever, and they're using, um, they're using Nido King and Nido Queen. You've taught me that power can be an infinite shape, and shape and in form. You've beaten us. Greatness remains elusive. All right, well, yeah. But, uh, yeah, because you guys don't have access to revives like I do. Anyway, we're finally out of this place. Oh my goodness, after taking a beating in there. And uh, now we're going to be teaching... Um, we're gonna be teaching Gaia Double Edge for takedown. Well, I guess I could... I'm going to get rid of Stomp, actually, because I'm never going to be relying on flinches. So, uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna actually go ahead and look at my TMs and probably change some movesets up. I want to see if I can get Ride on at least. You know, I want to see if Guy can get like one more move. Um, because I don't like it having two normal moves. But we are finally out of that brutal victory road. Oh my goodness. And uh, we've been here to the Pokemon League, the Indigo Plateau. And in the next episode, you guys, we are going to be taking on the Elite Four. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Next time, our long, tedious journey is going to be coming to an end as we take on the most powerful trainers in Kanto. So I will see you guys then.